Yeah, so in the, the book Values, Voice and Virtue, I basically say that we've had a revolution in this country. We don't often call it a revolution, but that's what it is. It's a political and cultural revolution that began in 1979 and continues to this day. But for many voters, they felt like it ended maybe on June the 23rd, 2016. Um, that revolution was led by conservatives and Labour politicians. But, and, and there are lots of people out there who will say, well, hang on, you can't compare Thatcher to Blair. And they're very different politicians, very similar in some ways. I mean, conviction politicians, messianic, radicals, completely reshape their parties. But, but, but they are actually um, uh, you know, different ideologically. You know, what Thatcher introduced was a radical brand of economic liberalism, you know, what I call hyper-globalization, utterly uh, focused on, on liberalizing finance, deregulating the economy, pushing back the state. When Blair took over, what he brought about was a radical cultural liberalism that was about mass immigration, was about removing voters from accountable, transparent institutions, pushing the pedal down on the European Union, pushing the pedal down on, on governance, this idea that we can be governed by distant, um, diffuse, unaccountable institutions. And w at the end of all of this, this revolution, basically what we're left with is a country that I think was committed to three things that lots of voters out there felt did not reflect their values. A model of hyper-globalization, which really hollowed out communities, especially in Northern England, not just economically but culturally, damaged families, damaged the social fabric, uh, damaged um, established ways of life, mass immigration, one of the biggest, most consequential experiments this country has ever had, but which had many negative effects, especially on workers and non-graduates. If you're in London and Oxbridge, it probably worked out well for you. If you're in you know, left-behind communities, much, much less well. Almost entirely without consent of the population. Almost entirely without consent of the population. Um, and, then, and then the depoliticization of politics. Politics became indistinguishable on the left and the right. There was no meaningful choice, really, anymore for voters. And 